Hello and welcome. This is my very quick Battlefield 5 guide to show you how to grind experience points and company coins in 2020. I hope that you find this guide useful and right to the point. If you feel like I've missed something out, leave a comment down below so that someone else might find extra useful tips. Before we begin, I just want to point out that the longer you play this game, the more you will gain, and certain assignments can be time consuming. However, with the weekly and daily objectives, you will be right on the way to achieve your goals soon enough. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Tides of War is the best way to pick up a bunch of experience points and some company credits alongside of battle currency which can be purchased with real money. With unique weekly missions completed by certain in-game tasks, you can pick up around 2000 company coins and over 20,000 experience points weekly. Of course, the battle coins are limited to 100 as the last mission in Tides of War every other week. This is sort of a way to help players collect coins to acquire content they may have missed out on over the two years of the game being released such as unique weapons, vehicles or skins, which could have been attained by completing the original Tides of War featuring the rewards during the live service support of the game. However, with the announcement to end the live service prematurely, DICE has decided to continue supporting the player base by giving away more company coins to give newer or returning players an opportunity to catch up or acquire gear they may have missed out on. The next thing up are the special assignments which offer the player a chance to select specific challenges and objectives which offer rewards in form of company coins, costumes, skins and face paints, etc. You can only select 4 assignments at a time, and unfortunately once you've completed them, you have to return to the main menu to turn on the next assignments. This is quite an annoyance, especially if you just finished the match and want to stay in the same lobby, but you've just also completed an assignment you are working on. And even though this was brought up to DICE many times, they never added a quality of life improvement. In addition, there are also free daily objectives which are fairly easy to attain and aren't very time consuming, each offering 100 company coins and 5000 experience points. Some of the things you can do to earn more experience points during a match are playing the objective and completing squad orders. Now, as obvious as it sounds, capturing or defending the objectives gives you score points which count towards the experience points bonus you receive at the end of the match. But keep in mind that you also receive extra score bonus when you get kills inside the objective. For example, if you are capturing the objective, you get extra score points for killing defending enemies inside the objective, while your team is capping the flag and the same thing goes for the getting defensive kills. Squad orders are important too. There are too many times when I join a match, request an order and the squad leader totally ignores it. If you find yourself in a similar situation, you should request an order 2 or 3 times and the squad leader position will transfer over to you automatically if the current squad leader does not respond. The reason you should do this, even if you don't want to lead, is that by assigning squad orders like defend or capture an objective, once the order is complete your squad will receive a score bonus. You can use your squad points to call in reinforcements like supply drops, smoke screens, artillery, vehicles or even V1 type rockets to help your team win the match. A quick tip to be more efficient with setting squad orders is, for example during a conquest or breakthrough your team is holding objective X and is trying to capture objective Y. If your team is struggling to capture objective Y, you should set a defensive order for objective X. There have been many times where in this type of situation I was able to set 3 to 4 assignments which gave my team extra points, instead of setting an offensive order which wouldn't have been completed in the same duration of time, and then switch into the offensive order right before the objective was captured. Each class has its role. Assault is to destroy enemy fortifications, vehicles and harass the enemy with powerful medium range weapons and explosives. Medics should revive, heal, provide smoke screens for team to push up or hold enemy advance. Support should provide suppressive cover, resupply ammunition as well as build fortifications or repair friendly vehicles. 
and Recon can spot enemies, scout and provide information for your team and clear out defensive positions at long ranges. Because Battlefield 5 is designed to be a team effort style game rather than a lone wolf Rambo solo bloodhouse. If you want to level up your class faster, kills are not the only way to do so. Reviving and resupplying your teammates is key to keep the momentum going and help support your team as well as rack up a bunch of score points for yourself. Healing with bandages, crates or reviving as a medic will get you a bunch of bonus score points. Similarly to support players dishing out ammunition to everyone around, just as Recon getting extra bonus points for spotting enemies. Make sure to determine what your team needs the most and try to fill the role. Lastly, Combined Arms is an easy way to pick up some extra company coins, as you can play this game mode solo with the match starting instantly or queue up into matchmaking which will take a few minutes searching for 3 other players, while the match does not require a full lobby. There are 10 maps with 3 difficulty levels each, giving the players 500, 1000 and 1500 company coins. If you decide to complete all 3 difficulty challenges on each map, you'd receive 30,000 company coins altogether, or 3,000 per completing all of the 3 challenges on each map, alongside experience points for fully completing each challenge run. In addition, you can use combined arms playlists to finish special assignments without having to grind them in multiplayer. However, certain special assignments cannot be completed in combined arms, as they do not have objective areas, and certain challenges are locked to PvP, which you can find in the description. However, it is a nice way to quickly boost your skin grind for certain guns, which might force you to play in a static style, such as using bipods or gathering prone kills. I hope that you found this guide useful and if you did, consider subscribing to my channel as I regularly upload weekly gaming and cooking videos as well as stream to both YouTube and Twitch. Also stay connected with me on social media. If you want to share some of your ideas for content or just want to talk, I post a bunch of creative, gaming and cooking content that you just might like, so don't miss out today. But for now. As always, I wish you all a good day or night, wherever you may be, and stay safe, till next time.